Hi there, my name is Victor and I am a master technician. Today I'm going to show you how to clean the throttle body on 2016 to 2022 Lexus RX 350 models. Start by unplugging the mass airflow sensor connectors. So you want to squeeze the tab here and then get the connector off. Sometimes uh, you can't get it off very easily. So you can just get a little screwdriver under the uh, end of the tab to pop it up. So let's get it in there like that. Well, this one's really stuck on. There we go. Okay, comes off. Then we're going to get uh, this hose off of here. We'll squeeze the clamp. Wiggle the hose. All right, and then get it out of this uh, bracket that's holding it in place. Unclip the box for the air filter. Lift it up and uh, pull it out of the tabs that are holding it there. Then we can undo this PCV hose here. So squeeze the, the clip, pull the hose off. Uh, using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen the clamp holding the, holding the uh, air hose onto the throttle body. Well, we gotta disengage the connector that holds the, or the clip that holds the wire for the mass airflow sensor to the, to the air box lid. All right, so now this wire is disconnected. Disconnect this side of the hose as well. Now we can take the uh, lid out of here. Okay, so the lid comes off and then this uh, intake pipe can come out. I take out the air filter too, just so we don't drop a bunch of dirt on top of it. Now I'll take a clean rag and uh, put some either throttle body cleaner or brake cleaner on it. And then you can get it in there. So you can open the throttle body by, uh, by pushing on it with your finger. So you wanna clean all this gunk that's inside there. See, it's uh, got a bunch of hydrocarbons built up in there from the PCV system. So we'll take our rag, prop the throttle body open and uh, wipe the inside where the throttle plate contacts really well. And then you can do the same. So you can uh, hold it open like this with one hand and then get in there and clean the top of it really well. And then you can also clean the, the actual edge of the throttle body plate right here. So we'll go over it one more time. Wipe everything at the top. Wipe everything at the bottom. All right. And now our throttle body is nice and clean. Okay, get the intake hose back in. So there's a little uh, mark on it right there, a little indent, and that's gonna line up to the indent on the throttle body. Yeah, that's good. Then tighten this up. until it's nice and snug and uh, reconnect the hoses. The PCV hose there. And then we have the CVAP hose. So get it into the bracket on top of the pipe. Now slide it on here. 
and get the hose clamp back on. Get the air filter back in and uh, reinstall the upper air box lid. So it has the same deal. It's got a little cutout or a little notch right there and the hose has a cutout where it's supposed to fit. All right, got the tabs on the back lined up with the lower air box and then clip the clips. Then you can uh, get this wire for the math. Remember that uh, clip that we unclipped originally clips into the top of the air box lid and then the connector clicks in and then we can tighten the hose clamp. Until it's nice and snug. And there you go, throttle body cleaning is completed. Thanks for watching. Please check for product links below the video for any tools or supplies needed to complete the procedure shown in this tutorial. If you would like me to make a specific video, please leave a suggestion in comments. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.